got this Eager Beaver 280. The uh, fuel lines broke off there. They were just really brittle and they just fell apart. So I bought a universal fuel line kit from Home Depot. Got a little hook and a bunch of different size fuel lines. So let's get to changing it. The uh, primer bulb cracked, as you can see there. Good old hole in it, so gotta replace that. I bought this primer bulb set because it has the uh, one that I need right here, and that I got from Home Depot. Okay, so I need to get the old stuff out of there, and I think I can just push the brittle, broke off lines down in. All right, got a different punch. There we go. All right, so both fuel lines are punched out. Now we'll dump them out of the fuel tank here. There's one of them. Got the fuel line just right there. Hope I can get it out. This one has a fuel filter on it. Okay, time to fish some new lines through. So this fuel filter doesn't look that bad, so I'm going to go ahead and shove it onto this, the end of this blue fuel line. Alright. Now, I want to take this... Uh, hook tool. I'm going to put it down in that first hole there. And loop it out the end. Then one end of this blue fuel line has a bevel on it. I'm going to actually hook the wire into the fuel line. So I stab it through. Now fish it up. And out. So I want to leave enough of this line to get down inside the fuel tank away. So let's say probably that much and shove it, shove this down in there. So I made this little hook dealy to go down in there to make sure I get that fuel line pushed back because it kind of rolled itself up under there. All right, so if you can see down in there, I got it to where it's going back in the back now. Can't see the filter anymore. But it's not rolled up down at the bottom now. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and cut this fuel line off. And connect it right there. Alright, you want to get that pushed up as far as you possibly can. Alright, now the next one we need to do is right back there in the back. So I want to loop my thing back through the gas can again. 
Hook it back on. Pull it back through. And this one will be for the primer. So we'll leave probably, probably just that much. of the fuel line to push back down in the fuel tank. Push it back in there. Alright, it's back in there. Now this one I just need to cut off so that it can reach the primer bulb there. Okay, so now I need to run a fuel line from primer bulb up to here. This one goes up to here, so I have just enough fuel line to do it. I'm just going to cut this beveled edge off. And go ahead and push it onto the carburetor here. Routed a little different than the old one, I guess. Because this one just keeps wanting to kink up. Alright, so because it just keeps kinking up, I'm just going to leave it ran like that. And there's a tab here. You can push on. It'll pop that up. Another tab on the other side. The same. That pops out. Okay, so if you <clears throat> if you get if you forget which side is a suction, you can just push in on the bulb and then put your finger over one of them. And if the bulb has a hard time coming out, and when you remove your finger, you can feel the vacuum release, then you know that's the suction side. Or if you put your finger over the other one and it's hard to push the bulb in, then you know that's the cells to the gas can. Not to put it in like this, with this short side on this side, on the on this side, because of this little notch over here. I'm just going to put the top in first and then push on this bottom tab. There you go. Alright, now it's in. So the vacuum side is the short one that goes to the carburetor. Our fuel system is finally working. Give it a good prime here. Okay, let's start it.